Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at writing a script that waits for a certain device. In this particular case, we're going to be waiting for a flash drive. Now, all disks, all drives on your computer will have a UUID, an identification, uh, usually string of digits. It's something that you can, you can manually change uh, when you format it, but unless you go and change it for that device, it's going to constantly stay the same each time you plug it in. So you can look for this and wait for a device. Now, this is different than saying your device, uh, there are options in there that I've gone over in the past uh, that basically constantly look for certain things to be plugged in. This is, you're running a script, the script will say, okay, now plug in this device and it will wait for that device before this particular script continues running. So real quick, if I list out in our dev folder, we're gonna have dev and then disk will be our disk devices. We There's another folder in there called by UUID. This will list them out by UUID. So we run that and you can see I have a couple of devices. If I was to uh, give the longer command for ls of dash l it would actually show you what drives they're pointing to but now remember something like this device is sda1 that may change depending on the order of devices being plugged in where the uuid should stay the same unless again you change it yourself which is a process of doing it's not just going to happen so uh right now let me go back and clear the screen list out all files or in this case links inside this folder you can see them all. I'm going to plug in a flash drive. Wait a second. And then I'm going to run this list command again. And you can see there is a new one. It's this one right here, the 03CB-1C0F. Okay, so I can take that, put it in my script and tell my script to keep checking for this device and wait for it to exist. Again, it doesn't need to be mounted. Right now it's not mounted. It's just looking to see if it's plugged in. And then you can have your script mounted if you want or formatted or do whatever you want or just do something that has nothing to do with the drive. Uh, but I already have the script written. I'm going to put this up on Paceman. There will be a link in the description uh, to where you can find it. Uh, but let's go over it real quick. So very short here, I'm setting a variable uh, to the UUID of that device. And then I'm setting where it should look for that. Now it's going to say, please attach that device and then wait for UUID, okay? Uh, we're going to say dash N that says no new line. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is just give you some output that the script is still running. So now we're going to say, okay, uh, if this link does not exist, keep looping, okay? So it's looking for this drive and every second it's going to loop. So it's, and each time it loops, it's going to print out a new period, dot, 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 just to give you some indication that the script is still running and waiting and it will check every second. Once it loops and finds that it exists, it will break out of this loop and then continue. In this case, we're just gonna print a message of it is connected. Uh, and of course you can do whatever you want in your script after that. Let's go ahead, quit out of this. We will run this. Well, first let me unplug the drive. And now I will run the script and you can see that it is waiting and you can see the dot, 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 just a little indication that it's still waiting. Please attach this device and I will plug it in and it should only take a second or two. There you go, device is connected. Uh, so that's how you do that. You just wait till the device exists, it's loop. And again, this is different. This is not something you're gonna run in the background all the time. There's other options for that. Uh, but for this particular case, again, you might have a script that you want to wait for a certain uh, device to exist before continuing. So I thank you for watching. Films by Chris.com, that's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.